today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko Pop games. This is Resident Evil 157. This is Nemesis. I know, I know, I know exactly what you're going to say, Spot. I thought you didn't like Funko Pop figures. I don't. But I've also said that there are certain figures that come along, and I'm sure that is the same thing that most collectors say when it comes to the Funko Pop vinyl figures. I don't like these figures, they might say aloud. Maybe they might say that aloud in a comic book store. Maybe they might say that aloud in a retail store. Needless to say, other people are looking right at them when they say it. And sure enough, they say to themselves, I am not ever going to buy these unless I happen to see a figure that I really, really like. And then, lo and behold, figures such as Nemesis pops up, and they find themselves picking it up. That's exactly what happened to me. You know my story. I'm not big into these, but gosh, gosh darn it, I'm a big fan of Nemesis. So they reeled me in, not likely to stay, but they've reeled me in nonetheless for this one purchase. I found this at my local comic book store. Side of the box, you've got Nemesis with figure 157 from the Pop Games line. And the back of the package, the figures from Resident Evil Anniversary consists of Jill Valentine, Leon Kennedy, Nemesis, Licker, Tyrant, and a Hunter. Both the Tyrant and Hunter are six inches in height, uh, whereas the Jill Valentine all the way to Licker are this smaller, well, this size right here. Collect the entire line of Funko Pop uh, Resident Evil super stylized vinyl figures, and you can head over to www.funko.com. Spot's going to take a break. You're a hypocrite. No, no. Spot's going to take a break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Resident Evil Pop Games Nemesis. Nemesis. Not a hypocrite. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> There's more heading your way. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so now that we've got Nemesis here out of packaging, let's get a better look at the figure. I know I never, I said I was never going to pick up any more of these, but I couldn't resist. I'm such a big fan of Nemesis. I've always loved Nemesis. And I have to admit, I'm not normally a big pop guy, but I quite like this little version of Nemesis here. There's not much posability to speak of. In fact, we can get this right off the way, out of the way right now. Posability, this is it. That's about all you're going to expect to get from a Funko Pop vinyl figure. That's it. Unless he's a bobblehead, and then of course his head would just spring up and down. That's basically all he would be able to do. Rather like the fact that they've packed this uh, Nemesis with some heavy firepower. He comes with his rocket launcher there in hand. Um, of course, one thing to be expected with the Funko Pop vinyl figures above and beyond the fact that you don't get much in the way of posability they are also super deformed. So in this case, Nemesis, who already had a giant hand, head, has a much more bigger head because he's got a smaller body by comparison. Coloring on him is pretty good. You can see all the little uh, tubes running through his flesh. Kind of also looks like something you would see from uh, Hellraiser, which is probably one of the reasons also why I've always liked Nemesis. Love the stitching that they've done right up the top here. And it's a nice textured feel too, so you can feel all the little recessed and creviced areas of his of his scalp. A nice big big eye there, one singular eye. In this case, normally the Funko figures are generally black. Sometimes you'll get exceptions. In this case, uh, Nemesis here has a nice stark, bright white uh, bright white eye. Teeth are visible as well which you see most of the time, even when he's uttering the word stars, stars. And he's got the long, the skirt-like jacket that he is known for wearing, along with the buckles down the sides of his sleeves and the buckles on his boots. I can't see myself, I say this now and things likely will change, I can't see myself actually picking up any more of the Funko Pop uh, Resident Evil figures. This probably was going to be it. Uh, when it comes to basically Nemesis figures, there's one thing that you should know. Nemesis figures, I'll just pick up. I'll If I see a figure of a Nemesis, I generally will want to pick him up. And there's still that upcoming release of, I'm trying to think of the company that's doing it. I think it's World, is it World Box? Is doing a release of a 12-inch Nemesis uh, six-scale figure. So hopefully I can pick him up as well. 
But yeah, not a bad little cute version of Nemesis. I do like the look of him. Paint's pretty good. He's got a couple little imperfections on his cheek. It looks like something's just rubbed up against it. I can't even think that I... No, I can't scratch that off. It's just... Yeah, it's just on the side of his cheek. Other than that, paint's not that terrible. And I think overall, he's just a cute little figure. So I know I've said before, I will never pick these up. And likely, maybe I won't pick up any more of these until that one pop vinyl figure. It's the same story that it goes with all collectors. That one figure just catches your eye. And before you know it, you've picked him up. And then maybe your collection goes to 145 of these. No, that's not likely the case here. But I was very happy to pick up Nemesis. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Funko Pop. This was the Pop Games. Resident Evil Nemesis. Nemesis. Not a hypocrite. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots in your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.